this video is going to be about the copy sop. And oh my goodness, the copy sop. God bless ye the copy sop. Because it does a mazillion and one things that I haven't got time to show you. But I'm going to show you the main thing that it's good for. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and create a curve. And I'm going to outline this. Um, chest thing here, this king. Just real fast. Let me go down through here and do this. I'm not trying to be real accurate because this is not a modeling tutorial. This is about the copy shop. And when I get this made here, I will be able to demonstrate the copy shop. So let me go on around here and finish up the half of this. So, hit return. Okay, now I have my curve. I'm going to turn off my background image. Now I have this curve. I'm going to go into my curve. This, remember, I'm not going over this too much because this is about the copy shop, not about modeling. I'll turn it to NURBS. That way it's got a good curve to it. Um, now, as you can see, I have this cool curve. Standing up straight up right there like that, you can see. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to revolve it. So I'm going to hit revolve. And boom! There we go. We have our chest piece. Now is that not simple or what? Because I've seen people do it in Blender and this and that the other by going through and building polygons and stuff. And that's just ridiculous when you can do it this way. Okay, so now you see we have this piece. Now I'm going to Go over here, and I'm going to tab in a copy shop. So I'm going to hit tab, C-O-P-Y. And lay it down there. Now, we're just going to use the copy. We're not going to use the stamp, which is, oh, it's one of the most powerful nodes in Houdini. Okay, we're not going to use the stamp inputs. We're just going to use the copy shop. So I'm going to connect this. First, let's set up our copy. How many copies do we want? Number of copies, let's make it 10. Now, let's say 8. 10 is a little much. We'll say 8. So now we have eight copies. So let's pop this in and visualize it here. And you'll see we see nothing. But that's okay because we can go to our translate here and translate it as you can see. See the move there? It's translate now eight of them. So let me go out here. And there we go. No copy and paste and control C, control V, Apple C, Apple V, whatever. We have just now made eight copies of that first model without any problems whatsoever um, you can work on these just like you could anything as you can see I can highlight it and I can transform just one okay as you can see you can work on these as individual objects and this is the blooming power of the copy shop node I hope you guys really get into this and learn to um, use the copy shop because let me tell you what, once you learn it, man, now you, you cannot model without it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.